Hey guys, I feel like I haven't done nail art in forever on this channel, even though it's only been like two weeks. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how I did these geometric nails. And these are mix and match nails, but they're also just for nail ideas because you can use them as accent nails. So first I'm just applying my base coat and I'm using Essie First Base. And then once that dried, I applied this Essie nude color that I don't even know the name of, but normally I hate these kind of colors because it's like a milky nude that has no coverage whatsoever, but for this, it was perfect because I really just wanted something to kind of even out my nail color complexion. Does that even make sense? I don't know, but this is completely optional. I just wanted to do this because there's so much negative space. And then once that dried, I applied a top coat because I'm gonna be using some striping tape, so I'm not trying to rip off my nail polish, you know? And for every design except for my pinky, I'm gonna be using China Glaze Low Maintenance, which is one of my new favorites. I seriously love this one. So yeah, for the first design, I started by making a triangle at the bottom of my nail using striping tape. And then I'm just gonna paint above that using that mauve pink color. And something that I just like to do is to just take a small brush and get those corners and like the small spaces first before you go in with the nail polish brush. That way it's just easier to not mess up and get nail polish everywhere. But I mean, if you wanna use the big nail polish brush, that's up to you. But as soon as you're done painting, like as soon as you are done, I cannot stress this enough, you need to rip that tape off because as soon as it dries, you're just going to be left with a hot mess and the lines aren't going to be clean, so just take off the tape as soon as you can. <laughs> and also make sure whenever you're using striping tape that you really press it down onto your nails so that no nail polish seeps underneath it. So after that, I drew a white outline and in my defense, I can't see really what I'm doing when I'm filming, so this was a hot mess, but that's why I used white acrylic paint. So after I drew this really messy line, I just took a toothpick and scratched off on my mistakes and then added a matte top coat. So I would recommend using acrylic paint, just saying. Or you can honestly wait for it to dry and use striping tape again, but I didn't want to wait for it to dry, so I was not about to do that. So this next design was actually inspired by a shoe. I just thought I should tell you guys. Anyways, I started by making a long line going across my nail using striping tape. And then basically after that, I'm just going to make other little lines going off of it coming out of the sides. And you can make, you know, one or two lines. You can make five or six, just depending on your nail size and how much time you want to spend on this. You just want to make sure that when you're making these lines, you don't put your tape over a previous line you made because it'll still be wet. And if that doesn't make sense, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about in a second. But just make sure you put your tape on the edge of the line, like I did here. <laughs> and again, you guys, take that tape off as soon as you fill in that line. So this next design is really similar to the first one I showed you, except I'm using horizontal lines and there's a little bit more negative space. So I honestly don't really have anything to say about it. So I'm just gonna let you guys listen to the music and I'm gonna stop talking.
So I know this is a little bit different because I started out with a voiceover and then realized I really had nothing to say and that it was super repetitive. But I hope you guys liked the tutorial anyways. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.